Hello and welcome to Student Housing Matters, a blog and podcast of COCM Capstone on Campus Management. Today I'm pleased to be joined by Brittany Piper. Uh, Brittany is COCM's Director of Leasing and Marketing, and she's going to be talking about a new marketing and leasing resource that we have on our website. Uh, she recently published this and it's entitled Small Changes, Big Impact, Tips to Elevate Your Leasing and Marketing Reach. Brittany, welcome. Hi, Alton. Thank you. So let's start out with just why did you think it was important to publish the resource? Mm -hmm. So I feel in our industry there are a lot of myths around what makes a successful leasing and marketing team. So I wanted to start there. You know, what is a big picture myth that we all think works, but it may work, but it's not really the best strategy for leasing and marketing. And then the second reason is because I feel that our industry needs to be disrupted. There are a lot of traditional things that we're doing that we really need more of a forward thinking approach. Is there any particular myth that you think is that comes to mind that is the biggest myth? Uh, well, three in this three part series. There are a lot in there. It's very hard to, to pick. What's your favorite myth? I would say my it's not my favorite, but it's definitely one that I believe really needs to completely go away in our industry. And that is that hiring a leasing team, a, a hiring a leasing person automatically translates to that person has marketing experience. Hmm. That leasing and marketing are one and the same. That is the biggest myth in our industry. And the sooner that wow. managers can realize they're two separate areas, I feel people will hit their goals a lot fa faster. Well, I kind of jumped ahead here with the mess, but let's <laughs> let's start back with part one. Tell us the story of part one. Okay. The story with part one is really the one that's closest to my heart because it has to do with our maintenance teams. And our maintenance teams are so, so beneficial in the leasing and retention process. And a lot of individuals don't realize that in our industry. I mean, the data shows in this series that, that we created that our maintenance teams are really taking a hit. They are not applying for jobs like they used to. We're losing top talent and we're not able to retain strong maintenance teams. And many don't realize that maintenance can really help in the leasing and marketing and the recruitment and specifically the retention in our communities. And if we have stronger maintenance programs, we will not only meet our goals, but exceed them with, it, with them on our side. So how have we seen that in our own uh, leasing teams yeah. or teams on site? When we get when we have the maintenance people involved, what have, what's been the result of that? Mm -hmm. So I, at COCM, our maintenance teams are, are very receptive to learning. Traditionally, maintenance is in the background. That's just how it is mm -hmm. traditionally, student housing or multifamily. But when we include maintenance in our leasing process, they feel more appreciated. They are a part of the big picture, which is traditionally not seen. Um, they are going to tabling events. They're taking training that's specific to how to engage with students. And they are a huge reason why our retention numbers with NCOCM are high. All right, so part two is about building the right leasing teams. What, what's the biggest misconception in this area? The biggest misconception about building leasing teams is again that they come with that marketing experience or that's something that can be learned on the job. Leasing can definitely be learned on the job. You can learn how to take someone on a tour, you can learn how to process paperwork and you know all of those basic fundamentals of leasing but when it comes to marketing and creativity and thinking outside the box and really having that relationship selling because we're we're all selling here everyone's selling something we're selling our communities that sometimes can't be learned so we have to be very strategic when we're hiring and making sure that we have the best talent who's equipped with the resources they need to be successful and either they don't have the resources that they need to be successful in the areas of marketing or they were never a right fit in the first place so that leads us to part three. What's what's part three about? <laughs> so part three is pretty exciting and also kind of scary because it focuses on Gen Z. It focuses on our audience and it focuses on what are the best methods for reaching our audience. And, you know, it's a challenge because they're still developing. So we don't really know, you know, what are they like today? What are they what did they like yesterday? What did they like last year? 
it all changes. And the pandemic certainly changed all of that. Sure. Many people don't even want to leave their homes. So, you know, you know, what attracted you to your student housing experience and attracted me and what's attracting them are three completely different things. It's three different generations. So we have to really learn to study them, to learn them, to include them, collaborate them, and really incorporate them in the entire process so that we can meet their needs. And that's what that section kind of highlights. So here's the most important question. How do you access this resource? <laughs> <laughs> so to access this resource, you will go to www.cocm.com. Under our resources section, you'll find it. It's a three-part series. It's super short, easy to read. And we have a number of other resources that you can check out as well. And it's three days of content. So you receive one document each day. And if you sign up the first time, then you automatically get the second and third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll check okay. your email and get those three days in a row. If somebody reads this and they have some questions or they want to talk to COCM about maybe a certain challenge they have, how would they get in touch with us? So the great thing about COCM is that we are very collaborative, we're very consultative, and we, have, we do not have a cookie cutter approach to what we do. So you can just reach out on our website or send us an email at info at COCM.com and we're happy to meet with you, answer any questions, and provide additional resources as needed. Thank you, Brittany. And on behalf of COCM, uh, we uh, hope this marketing and leasing resource is going to be a benefit to a lot of folks. Thank you.